everyone! Um, so, today's video is gonna be a little bit special, as you can probably already tell by the title. Um, I was, I've been thinking of doing this video for quite a while now, and some people actually requested that I would do it, so I thought it would be a good video to do, maybe, because, um, yeah, I don't know. For those of you who are like, what the hell is she doing with the videos, don't worry, makeup tutorial is coming very soon, and, um, yeah, before starting this video, I want to apologize in advance because I think this video is probably going to be all over the place. Um, I will perhaps not be very cheerful uh, times to times. There will be some noises because there is some building work outside. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as you may know, uh, well, not you, yeah, well, um, I've had feelings that could be called love by most um by the most um for two years now uh, a little bit more than two years now for someone and uh this is well something that happens to almost everyone i would say in life well kind of and um yeah, I just know there are so many people in my case right now. Well, not really in my case, because, yeah. But there are so many people going through a similar things. And I just feel like sharing could only be helpful, maybe, to some of you. So here it is. I'm just going to tell you how I deal with that. And, um, yeah. So I'm just going to try to explain you a little bit more of the story for you to understand a tiny bit. So I've, I've done this person for six years. Um, well, known as big word, but I've, I've known kind of this person for six years, but before, two years ago, I really did not care. Shit. I really did not care for him, for him at all. I just, it was not someone I, yeah, I just did not care. And I don't know why, um, about two years ago, suddenly I woke up in the morning and it came to my mind like, yeah, I miss him somehow i need him somehow i want to see him <laughs> well, i don't know and that was weird because there was no reason for that and no reason at all like i did not know him he was not part of my life and i did not yeah he was just really coming out of the blue some and and i was like what the hell you know really what the hell <laughs> I, at first i was really like puzzled by this because I did not understand what was going on it was just like you know I woke up in the morning and it was like a third arm had grown on me like a new part of my body was just here and it was yeah a part of my body because I was thinking of him all the time he was like a part of me and I didn't know why because suddenly like that he appeared and I was very very puzzled by that and quite irritated at the same time because I had no desire to feel that way so it lasted for about three months. I was like, what's going on with me? I just thought it was a little bit of a crisis or some, something of that sort, really. And I did not pay that much attention to that. Um, but I was always thinking of him. And I cannot really explain why even now. Because three months later, I thought, okay, that's, that's enough. I'm going to send him an email just very casually. Um, and I did. And there were actually really few chances he would reply back to me because he is a very busy man and because we didn't really know each other. So I was like, okay, just gonna do it for, I don't know, I don't even know. But he replied to me and uh, I was like, it was, you know, in a way I would have liked him not to reply because that would have been easier for me, you know. But he replied and I was really even more puzzled because, I don't know, I know, in, I believe in God very much and I... The day before that, the day before I sent him this email, I went to the church and I prayed for a very long time for something good to happen to me finally. Because I was going through a little bit of a hard time and I just went to the church and prayed for something good to happen to me. And then he replied to me, which was very unexpected. So I, can't, I couldn't help but see something like a sign in that. And I waited one week and then I replied. And then we started exchanging emails time to time, probably like once a month or something. And yeah, that lasted for about one year, 
yeah, one year. And then he, uh, he said that he would like to meet me and that he would like to, you know, take me to dinner sometime when he would come to Paris. So, yeah, I was really skeptical because I, I thought, okay, words, 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 you know, words all the time. But I just was happy somehow. And finally, um, about one year later, when uh, he's Japanese, so one year later, when I went to Japan in April, um, I just, um, we started texting and he would come talk to me, you know, he would be really kind and he would come talk to me first and it would be really cool, really. And when I went to Japan, I met him, so it was an amazing moment, probably one of the best moments of my life, really, realistically, yeah. Um, that was like a dream coming true and it was really cool. He is a kind of man that is very, like women a lot and even though it's a little bit paradoxical, it doesn't treat them very right, so I don't like that at all. If someone was not dis willing to settle down with anyone and he has no, I mean, he kind, I think he kind of appreciates me, like he, he enjoys being with me, like in my company, and he is nice to me, but that's basically just it, because I don't, yeah, that's it. And I'm at the same time in the same case, same situation. <laughs> so that's weird. Um, I love him very, very much, and um, this is never, I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon, but I don't know why it's happening. I feel kind of embarrassed and irritated by this love that just came out of the blue and suddenly kind of fell on me and completely changed me and my life and I don't really get why. So yeah, I'm living somehow an unrequited, 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 I think it's how you say it, love. And I know it's not an easy thing, but I think I'm living it quite well because there are lots of um, details you don't know and believe me it's kind of wow uh, so I thought I would share with you how I deal with that because I want to help you out maybe some of you um, first of all love is a joyful and lucky thing like don't I don't understand why people are like complaining when they are in love like um, well I just did but somehow but I mean you know they're like it doesn't love me back or she doesn't love me back I'm so desperate and I'm so sad obviously it's sad like obviously there are days I laid on me in my bed and I just don't go out at all and it seems that the world is tasteless and the world is useless worthless and meaningless because I'm never gonna be with him and because well there are 90% of students I'm not gonna be with him and because um, yeah it's a somehow a very unpleasant situation times to times to think of someone who's not here to expect someone to be here for you when it's not gonna be here for you um, and it's somehow something that you have to deal with yourself you have to accept that it's um, it's not gonna be easy and I I'm not gonna lie there are lots of times I thought you know if he was to leave me, if he was to never reply to me, if he was to stop texting me, if he just kind of, you know, stopped being in my life somehow, I just thought, what was the purpose? What was the meaning? What was, the, why was I going to keep on living if he was not here? That's just, I was like, no, why are you thinking this way? It's not... You know, you cannot think this way. It's not fair to all the people around you to think that way. But that's what that's how I felt. So I understand you if you feel sometimes desperate and just like, you know, everything is worthless. But it's not. Love, it's joyful, cheerful, lucky, amazing thing. Lots of people actually go through their lives without feeling that real deep feeling of love. The feeling of love that would, you know, make you give up on everything uh, that would make you do anything for the per the, peop the one you love realistically uh, I mean I would give my life and I would probably give anything for him like my kidney or whatever um, even though he doesn't love me back and even though it's not really it's not like we are in a real even I would say friendship relationship or whatever but I'm, I'm feeling grateful because I know this feeling of love I know this amazing um, 
huge strength and kind of I don't even know how to explain it this is this thing inside of me that possesses my whole body and my whole mind and that makes me feel just like wow you know it makes me feel so much alive it makes me do amazing things like I've done so many things because I love him it's crazy like so many things really and yeah because not everyone gets to know this feeling of love you should cherish cherish this feeling because it's this chance you have you know it's a chance to be in love it's a chance to love someone deeply like deeply being in love and loving is not the same thing for me really but loving someone so deep that you know you feel grateful that's the main point of this video really you have to feel grateful like if you don't feel grateful I don't think it's love you know I feel grateful for him being alive I feel grateful to know him I feel grateful that God somehow put it in my life put him in my life and I feel grateful that I got to meet him to talk to him to text him to see him to touch him to feel him it's I feel grateful for all of that for knowing that there is such an amazing beautiful person out there another thing I want to say really is that you know when you love someone so much it makes you feel like sometimes well for me at least because he's a bit special it makes me feel like I'm not worth him really uh, I know it's not a good feeling and girls are probably gonna be like why what are you saying you gotta be strong women you gotta be strong um I'm strong yeah believe me I'm strong but yeah I'm not gonna lie I went on a diet for him I stopped getting tattoos for him I stopped kind of dyeing my hair for him for him as well and uh, yeah I just even thought of doing surgery for him but I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna stay true to myself and I'm not gonna be that kind of a person because in fact when you feel that way what you have to remind yourself is you have to become someone worth his love or her love you have to become someone worth this person that you love if you are this desperate uh, pitiful person that never does anything and just stays in bed all day complaining and you know just looking at your own despair you're not gonna be attractive you're not gonna be someone worth that person that you love that's just well that's how I feel at least so I thought I would do things to be with him. I studied languages a lot, I traveled, I lost weight, obviously. I tried every day to be a better person, to be kind, to be as kind as I could, to be as joyful as I could, to help people around me, to never give up, to be strong always, to keep positive. Just, you know, so that I would be a nice person that maybe he could appreciate and just wanted to be someone nice because if I'm loving him the body and the mind that carries this love for this amazing person has to be worth carrying this love you know what I mean so don't let yourself you know just don't give up don't be discouraged don't don't give up really be positive be strong be someone people would like and would fall for be someone you would like to fall for you know what i mean i wrote things that's why i'm looking down um also it's important that re to remember that there are so many people around you that love you and will love and that you love too like you know i felt so ungrateful and so unfair when I was feeling so down just because he wouldn't reply to me when I saw all of my friends around me my family all those amazing people I've known and I was like you cannot just think your life is worthless because of someone one person when there are all those amazing people around you even though this love that I have for him is probably stronger than every love than any love I could feel for anyone I cannot just give everything to him you know there are so many amazing people around me that have brought me and gave me so many things that have given me sorry so many things in my life i cannot be grateful to them too you know it's not how it works you have to remind yourself that there are so many people who love you and that you love too and you also have to be worth that love you know it's not only you and him or you and her it's you and all the people in your life you and your life basically and in your life there are so many things you like life is pretty much a nice thing all in all life is very fun if you are able to make it a fun thing right um enjoy life 
enjoy life because you should actually when you love someone you realize how oh, time is precious you know i did not understand what time was before i met him it was just something i did not think about i wasn't afraid of death at all even the opposite i would say i wasn't afraid of time i wasn't afraid of anything and when i met him i realized that time was flying by you know, you have to make the most of each day because you can die tomorrow and the person you love can die tomorrow too. And that's that's awful, but ha that happens, you know. So each day is a precious day. You are able to think of that person, to love her or to love him and to enjoy life, you know. It's very important to remind that too. Um, also, I think that what's very important is to be realistic. Like, I'm very realistic. Uh, even though it may not seem so, I know this person and I are completely different. We are not the same age, not the same culture, not the same language, not the same environment. We don't live in the same world at all. Our expectations are very different. Our views on life somehow are the same, but very different too. Our way to react to things are very different. And there are lots of things in him that I think are not really good, you know, like nye nye nye. But, I mean, I'm realistic because I know we're probably never going to be together. Maybe we will have a relationship in the future. Maybe, like, friends or I don't know. But we're probably never going to get together. And I don't even want to get with him. But I'm not pessimistic. I know life is full of surprises. Love Life is full of unexpected events. And... The fact that I met him is an unexpected event, so no, don't be pessimistic, you know, be realistic, don't lure yourself in, um, you know, fantasies and illusions, but be positive, really be positive, be strong, believe in everything, believe in yourself, believe in him or her, and believe in, um, if you believe in God, believe in God. I mean, I think God would never put something useless in my way. If it put me through that love, it's because it's nice for me so I'm grateful for him doing that and I'm grateful for that amazing opportunity and and you know the story that I'm living even though now it's a little bit you however um, the main not the main but another very important point is to stay true to yourself um, I was tempted so many times to change everything and uh, you know do surgery and just Pretend I was someone else for him to like me better, but in the end, it's not worth it. Um, I know everyone say that, and you're probably gonna think it's cliche, but no, it's not. I mean, every day I'm fighting against the idea of surgery. Every day I'm fighting against the idea of doing everything to transform myself into the person you would like to date. Yeah, I'm fighting against all of these ideas every day. Because I know one day if I do that, I will regret it. Um, I wouldn't like someone who would change everything for me. I wouldn't like a man who would be ready to change everything just because he thinks I like some something or someone else better. I like someone who's proud of himself or herself, someone who's confident, someone who's fierce and strong. And I think everyone likes that. I mean, you don't want to have like a doll for a girlfriend and you don't want to have... I don't know, a toy for a boyfriend, right? So when it comes to the person you love, it's even worse. Like someone you love as someone you respect, you know, has to be someone you respect. So yeah, I don't want to be a toy for anyone. No, no way. So the main point of this video is gratefulness, as you may have um, understood. Be grateful, really, people. You think, I think so many people not you so many people just think that everything is granted and it's not it's not it's not you have to be grateful for what life gives you really i just think it's very important no one really understand that you have to be grateful and no one told you a life would be easy no one told you life would be fun all of the time and yeah i mean you have to work for things to happen to you basically so if you want to be having fun if you want to see things in a positive way if you want to be able to you know be positive and like so and love someone hold your heart and consider that a chance and a luck you have to work on yourself basically so that's probably just it for that video 
I hope it wasn't too boring, too weird or anything. Please feel free to tell me about your personal stories and how you feel about and how you feel and how, how what you think about that topic. Um, it's kind of weird for me to talk about actually because I love him so much. I think guys you have no idea, like really. Really. But and I must say it's hard, but I've become someone better thanks to him and even though it's very hard and very painful most of the time, it's um it's a pain that is worth every little joy in the world because it's caused by him and it's not like it was meaning to hurt me, it's just a situation that is painful and who knows, maybe in the future it will be better. Yeah! So I'm gonna stop this video now, it's probably very long, sorry for that. Um, I love you so much guys, all of you really. Um, and I will talk to you very soon.